Tourism New Westminster as well, and um, one of the founders of Next New West. So thank you all for coming out tonight. So um, I won't talk too long because I'm hoping the exhibits will uh, sort of stand on their own, and I'm hoping that uh, in your time today you'll be able to uh, have a quick peek at uh, what we have. But um, basically the Discovery Centre, we don't have a collection, we're not a collecting institution. Um, and one of the, the really fun things about this place is that we get to work with other organizations. So uh, for these two exhibits that we have, we've partnered with two organizations. Um, the first one is, is Build a Boat, and um, we're actually building a Fraser River Skiff. So the, the sort of wood structure that you see uh, in the middle there, that is the frame of the boat, and there's gonna be a boat that's wrapped around it. Um, and we are working with the uh, Orlock and Sail Wooden Boat Club on that. And every Saturday, there is boat builders here, and they're always looking for extra hands. So anybody, eight and up, can come down and, and help uh, build our boat. It's a big project, um, and uh, the, more, the more people that help out, the, the better the boat will be. We have our visitor center that operates out of uh, the Fraser River Discovery Center during the summer months of June, July, and August. We have staff seven days a week, and we're able to help you plan your trip all across British Columbia. Um, we also focus on the six regions that make up our beautiful province and uh, if you ever need information or you are looking for um, help or any, anything, bus schedules, uh, community guides, uh, we've got everything here to help you and in the off season the center is still open, it's just a self front center. Um, our new visitor's guide is coming out in April so be on the lookout for that and I'm sure at the next New West event in April the guides will be out for you. But um, again, tourism, there's definitely some great things happening in our city. For one, the River Market is going to reopen in July, so that's July, August. So that's a huge, huge draw, uh, really continuing to make our, our city a destination. Um, we also have the new waterfront park that's going to be built in the next few years. We also have a civic center that's going to be built on the corner of Begby and uh, Columbia Street. And we've got new movie theaters coming in as well. So as you can see, our city is going to rock in the next few years. And I'm so <laughs> proud to say that I live in New Westminster and that I work for New Westminster because I only good things are going to keep continuing to happen in the city. So um, that leads me to Ruby Campbell. She's with the Ruby Fundraising Group, and she's also one of the co-hosts today as well for this uh, for this great event. So um, Ruby, I'll let you speak a little bit. Thanks, Tash. Yeah. Um, when I was uh, invited to co-host this, I thought it would be a great opportunity to let people know a little bit about what I do because I kind of appear at different functions, and because I have a home-based business, I think people are not really clear that I actually work. Um, so <laughs> I thought I would come and tell people what I do at work. Um, so Fraser River and Discovery Center, yeah, you can, <laughs> you can verify for that, is one of my um, uh, main clients and uh, one of my proudest clients, although I also do work for uh, the City of New Westminster and the Parks, Culture and Recreation and exciting stuff. I'm managing the uh, Youth Centre campaign right now. Um, it's kind of hard, it's like children, how do you say which one is better, right? <laughs> I love them all. And uh, I have a lot of other clients in Vancouver and Surrey. Um, I worked in New West recently for uh, Hayak, um, uh, Douglas College Foundation, the Lower Mainland Brain Injury Association. So what I do in a nutshell is I write a lot of grants, I talk to corporations and encourage them to, um, to become sponsors. And then I do special events sometimes as well. Um, galas and, you know, golf tournaments, not recently, but I have done many of those in the past. So, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd take an opportunity to tell everybody what I do and that I think, and just as an aside, one of the things that I've experienced, I've been running a home-based business for about two years now. There's a lot of home-based businesses in the West, and I think it's so, um, they're one of the most successful cities for running home-based businesses that I've really experienced. And, I don't know, it's just, uh, I thought I would mention that because I've heard a few people say they want to freelance. And, you know, it's just, it's fully rewarding, especially as a mom, it's kind of nice to have that flexibility. But um, I encourage you to come back here. It's, it's, this place is just phenomenal in terms of the, the growth. And from what I'm hearing from funders, um, you know, people are really watching the Discovery Center and the city of New Westminster. So like Tej, 
Um, really excited to work and to live here. It's just fantastic. So that brings me to a little bit about our, our group right now and where we're at. We have over 100 members right now in our Facebook group for Next New West. So thank you. Continue to invite your friends. Continue to invite your colleagues because this is going to be one of the best groups in our city right now. And it really showcases the direction that our city is moving towards. And it showcases that our city is young and we're fun and we're, we're ready. We are so ready for it. You know, I feel like I'm still with the Olympics. It's just like, let's go, Canada, let's go. But I, I am so, this, it's, it's a, I'm really honored to be here with each of you today, and I want to continue that partnership, and really our first year that, you know, we've only had, what, what four events right now, and it has been incredible, the feedback and the suggestions, and the, just the group interactions that everyone's got going on. I think it's amazing. And right now, it's about networking. It's about creating partnerships. It's about connecting. And that was that was the vision. That was the foundation for this group to start. And throughout time, we will start engaging. And we will start being excited. And one day, we will transform this city into what we want it to be for our kids and their kids and their kids. So thank you. And I also want to thank the Paddleboer Hub for providing excellent food for us tonight. So thank you, Holly. <laughs> and I want to thank Catherine and Kathleen and Ruby for hosting today. It's been amazing. And I'll thank Tourism US. Yes. So, awesome. Uh, Seth, it's all about um, being proud of where you're from. And uh, tenth to the Fraser is a passionately local, hyper-local blog. Uh, that Brianna and I started, and has, uh, since then we've been joined by a number of people in the community uh, and a really wide network of folks who have written articles and, and sent in uh, content from everything from restaurant reviews to uh, interesting stories about people around town and, and events that are taking place, and it's a really good time. And, and uh, it's been a lot of fun for us. And <laughs> 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 